First up, entrepreneurs from Ottawa with their edible kids clay that's already making a lot of dough in Europe. And the rules of Dragon's Den State, they must get all the money they ask for or they go home empty handed. Hi Dragons, my name's Tim Kimber. I'm from Ottawa, Ontario. This is Stefan Kechmatek from uh, Frankfurt, Germany. Our company is PlaySmart, and today we're uh, here to offer you an, the opportunity to invest $500,000 for 25% of our yummy dough business. Two million dollar business. So tasty money. For over 50 years, we've known that children are compelled to eat modeling clay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a problem. It is a problem. It's They're true. compelled. Stefan, along with his two children, uh, endeavored to solve this problem. For six months, they worked in their kitchen to develop what we know today as yummy dough. We can eat this? You, we can eat this. The great thing about yummy dough is you can play with it, you can sculpt it, you can mold it, just like any other modeling clay. It, is it a food product? You, yep. It is a food product. You okay. can eat the raw dough. After just I like, played with it? Oh. And it tastes great. And if you cook it? If you cook it, you end up with beautiful cookies. It's a baking mix, really. It's yeah. a baking, exactly. I'm assuming you're already selling this product in Europe. Yes. What are the sales in Germany? Uh, we sold more than 700,000 packages for the first year in such a small 700, market. 700,000 packages? Yeah. Three At million what price? euros. Three million, that's euros. These guys aren't two bozos in a bus. You've done really well. The risk, uh, I think, is very, very low because we showed that we can do it in Germany. We have the potential here. So we make dough with dough. We have commitments in, in Canada from Chapters Indigo, 85 stores immediately. And what is the profit you're looking at for the North American market? We, we hope to do uh, somewhere between two and three million units in the first year. At $10 a box, they could sell over $20 million worth, but they have yet to move a single unit in North America. Tim, what's your background? Uh, I started a, t a company called PlaySmart about six years ago, and today our company has over $8 million in sales. Timothy, what are you gonna do with a half million dollars when you get it? Uh, we wanna use the money for uh, Television advertising, marketing, and PR. So you want to launch the product with the 500K? Absolutely. Do I get a piece of your existing company if I give you half a million? No. Why not? Because uh, that we're just talking about the dough. Don't be greedy. No, but hang on. What, <laughs> don't be greedy. What think, think about this business. for a second. You don't have, be greedy you coming have a, from the master. Wait a second. Of I'm dark. getting interested. I like sales. You have actual sales. Now, why wouldn't I take a piece of the existing business? Because I don't know if this is going to work in the North American market the same way it did in Germany. When I was young, I liked to lick the rest of the bowl from my mother, and every child did. And they always put the multiple dough in the mouth so they eat it. I know this was like this 20 years before, and it will be like this in 20 years. That's the answer. And we have to pretend and the trademarks on it. You're a really good sales guy, but I'm not an idiot. I give you $500,000. I have absolutely no collateral. I just have the optimism that we all lick bowls together. That's not exciting. I need, I need a little piece of something to get excited about giving you guys $500,000. What happens if it fails? Then we all lose. Yeah, yeah. that's an investment. You don't lose anything. That's, lose that's, that's the nature of investing, is that with investing, it, there's risk. You no, can, you don't you say. Can, you can, you, less than one. You invest, and uh, when I invest in anything, I take the attitude that yeah, there's but risk. Timothy, you're and not investing in anything. You're you're getting cash. I've, I've invested. I've, I, time. I, I'm investing time and over a hundred thousand dollars to date in this product for North America. Can you answer why you're here? You've got a, a successful business. You clearly have profits. Why are you here? Uh, we want to do it again. We want uh, your expertise. You just, there's something fishy in your dough. I mean, just. I just don't get Robert, it. Let me tell you what's going on here. Tim, our good friend here, doesn't want to take any risk. He wants you to take the risk. I'm very interested, but I gotta have a piece of something real. It must be very troubling for you. You and I are identical. Exactly. The, the, He's evil? I am a perfect partner for this guy, because I know exactly where you're coming from, totally. The risk is inherent in the first 90 days. It either goes or it doesn't. It's that simple. 
You're gonna, you're gonna blow through my half a million bucks in 90 days, and we won't know if I'll ever get it back. So I need some serious upside to take that risk. No bank's gonna do it. Nobody. But, but the upside is there. You have of the course. potential. Look, and the... I'm, a, I'm a bowl licker too, I'm there. Yeah. I, I love that whole thing. Let's, bowl, let's all lick bowls together. But it's my $500,000 that's at risk. To make it clear where I stand, uh, I'm going to say it in, in a way you're going to understand. Ich bin aus. I'm out. I think your hill is a pretty big one to climb. It's going to take you two years, and your marketing effort is going to be significantly more than we are thinking right now. So for those reasons, I'm out. You've got sales. Or you've got some potential of sales. Yes. What I don't understand is that why I have to take all the risk. And I only get 20, I don't get any say. I get 25% of the business. It doesn't make Because the sense. potential upside is huge. Potential means nothing. If I'm going in for 500,000 and you've got no risk, what about 50% of your share? Wow. Okay, how about this deal? I give you $500,000, you give me 10% of revenue in perpetuity. <laughs> I couldn't. Let me, let me think about that. No. <laughs> what? Well, that's come not back. An offer. Excuse that's me. Like... If that's not palatable, come back with a different royalty structure. You know, my biggest concern is I give you $500,000 and I want my little soldiers, as I call them, to come back to daddy eventually. Yes. Let's do a two tiered strategy. You leave it at 10% till I recoup my $500,000, and then I'll bring it down to 4% in perpetuity. Now, you've got two offers. Why don't you take a moment in the little den we have back there? And okay, we'll, well let's it. go talk and... Uh... Stefan and Tim have a big decision. Kevin wants a hefty royalty from future sales, but Jim wants half of their yummy dough business. So do we phone a friend? <laughs> we have two offers. If we project $10 million in, uh, in the first year in sales, he's, uh -huh. he wants... Oh. He went, he's, that's five when he's, he's got yeah. his money back in the yeah, first yeah. year. Right, yeah. Before the break, oh, Stefan yeah. Kaczmarek and Tim Kimber and their yummy dough business sparked two aggressive offers. If I'm going in for 500000 and you're got no risk, what about 50% of your share? Wow. <laughs> okay, how about this deal? I give you $500,000, you give me 10% of revenue in perpetuity. Let's rejoin the negotiation. All right. So you're ready to make some dough? Uh, Jim's offer, I think we're going to decline. Uh, uh, 500000 for 50% is uh, too much of the company for, uh, for, the, for the money. My deal's much better. Uh, no, I, no, I don't think your deal is much better. I think your deal co costs me a lot more in, in the long Only term. Only if it's wildly successful. So we're sitting around making our dough, whining about the split that we're taking. That's a wonderful outcome. That's the kind of problem I want to have with you. We want to be bitching about the money. You really, you really need to think about this. You're going to be alone looking at the ceiling saying, why didn't I do a deal with my brother? That's, we're family, buddy. And I'm giving you an offer here that is absolutely spectacular. We, we want to counter offer your offer again. 10 and three. If you're looking so, for a partner, I could get talked into this deal. We can close it at three and a half percent. I'd come in on that. There you have two partners now. I'll come in on that with you. You have three partners. You have the power and the force of some severe discipline here, but you're going to get your dollars. Three and a half percent, you got three partners, and you have your dough. Checks for half a million dollars of really risk capital don't come along very often. I, I yeah, no. I think we have to go with a three, you know, three and a half percent. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we'll accept your offer. Yeah. Great. Right. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you. Congratulations, gentlemen. This is Way very exciting. Thank you. Yes, Thank, you. you. Yes, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to make a lot of dough. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's sure. <laughs> Lots of dough.